When flow problems occur in conventional cone bottom silos, the first method typically used to induce material flow is a good pounding with a sledgehammer to the silo's cone section. As shown here, damage to the silo may result with no guarantee of solving the flow problem. The FlexAir inflow system provides a gentle but powerful push exactly where needed to restore flow inside the silo and in contact with the caked material. The following FlexAir inflow application shows how simple and effective the system is in solving the flow problems in a silo for storing soft plastic pellets. Before using FlexAir, the company tried various kinds of devices to restore flow in each of its eight storage silos. The only method that proved effective was for employees to chip away and break up the caked and compacted material using long rods from a manhole on top of the silo. A small control package and level sensor were provided with each silo to provide automatic operation of the FlexAir inflow system. The following video footage shows how simple, effective, and immediate the FlexAir inflow system is for restoring material flow to keep production running smoothly without any interruptions. Also notice that the material at the top of the silo is pushed away from the silo wall first so it can roll, tumble, fall, and become loose again for more efficient conveying. As soon as the level sensor near the discharge outlet is satisfied, inflation stops until more material is required. The FlexAir inflow system can be designed for almost any size and style of storage vessel from large 30-foot diameter flat-bottom grain silos to small feeders and hoppers. The membrane systems are available to meet the requirements of the FDA for food products as well as for handling corrosive and abrasive bulk materials.